Alright then guys, so the Forest of Hope is now complete, as is the Impact Site and the Forest Naval, so that means there's only one more area left to explore, and that's the Distant Spring. Now this is a watery type area, so we're going to have to be careful. Mainly we're going to be using blue Pikmin here. Now, the last time I had recorded this game, I didn't know that there was an optional boss in this, in this area. And he, but he only appears on day 15 or, or earlier. Now, I'm going to try to take him on, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to beat him. Right, so you guys wait there. I'll also get out 50 reds. Wait here. Hey. You stay with the other reds. Alright, let's try this, I guess. Stop messing with the grass, we don't need to mess with that right now. Come on, pay attention. Alright, now there should be like an egg around here somewhere, I think. Ah yes, there it is. Alright, I'm gonna leave my Pikmin back and just go explore it. Come on, you. Wake up. I know you're in there. Yep, oh, there he is. Now say hello to the smoky frog. Now this guy is dangerous. Don't throw Pikmin from behind, because if you do, they're gonna die to his poison. See how, you, see how they just died instantly? Alright, now, let's get our reds. Where is he going? Now this thing has a lot of defense, and a lot of HP, but he's going down fairly quickly. Alright, we got him. But yes, that thing is known as a Smoky Prog. It's an optional boss that only appears on day 15 or less here in the Distant Spring. Now, um, it's trailing poison behind it, which also damages Olimar if he gets close, and it instantly kills Pikmin as well. So definitely don't throw your Pikmin from behind. Now this thing is known to is notorious for ignoring all your Pikmin out in the field and going straight for the onions and trying to kill any Pikmin that might be in the ground. It'll sprout them up and kill them instantly. But um, what I found to do is that if we lure it out of its shell with a couple of blues and just Olimar, it'll go straight for the ship and the onions. That's when we leave the blues behind and have the reds just... Then we take control of the reds, and then once it gets close to the red onion, then we just start throwing uh, on Pikmin on him constantly. If there's no Pikmin to uproot, he just seems to kind of stand there, which is good for us. And then you can just kill him at your leisure. Now, you don't have to kill him if you don't want to. There's nothing saying that you have to. But he drops a pretty damn good reward. So we'll 
We'll give this to the yellows, because I think they deserve it. Now what that what that that thing it drops is kind of like a gold pearl. It it always gives you 100 Pikmin. So I think that the yellows are gonna deserve that. Now where there's my blues. Alright, so that's cool. But yeah, I I've ne I never really fought that thing before. I just kind of I was looking up creatures uh, after my last recording set and I noticed that I had never fought the smoky prog before. So I thought, you know, I'll be different this time. Let's fight it. So we have a hefty amount of yellows now. Alright, so there are quite a few parts in this area. Most of them are, are in the water. Let's get that one to the southeast, I think, first. Wallywog, I'll have to take care of him. Oh, you jerk. Darn, that wasn't meant to happen. We got that one at least. Ah, now look at this enemy here. It looks like a bull board, but it's slightly different. This is known as a bull bear. Now these things are tougher than regular bull boards. Thankfully, it looks like we didn't lose any blues there, so that's good. Unfortunately, the Pikmin here won't carry the part through the water. The Pikmin that are carrying our spoil seem to be milling about in one place with their loads. It appears that if their path back to the Onion is blocked and faced with what seems to be an insurmountable obstacle, they will have lost their focus. So basically, they'll just keep running around in circles until they find some a way around it. Excuse me. Right, so this day is roughly halfway done now. Oh, for the record, with the... Uh, that optional boss we fought. You can also destroy it while it's in the egg, but if you kill it that way, then you don't get its drop. So you can't get an, an, an extra 100 Pikmin that way. Now, there's another Wallywog over there, so we should probably take care of it. Just so it doesn't try to squish my troops while they're carrying stuff. Okay, 
Good, the bridge is complete. Let's take this thing out. Good. Found my massage machine. Put this right down in the lower back area and let it go to work. I can't wait until I get it installed again as my lower lumbar region has been paining me ever since the crash. Ah, sweet relief. So if you couldn't guess, this is one of those parts that is optional. Come on, you guys. that way. Alright, looks like they'll be safe the rest of the way. Now, I think this isn't really a, a feature of the Bull Bears until later games, but I was always under the impression that if you don't. It, once you kill a bugbear, but you don't bring the body back to one of the onions, then it actually comes back to life after a while. But they, but that not that may not be a thing until Pikmin 2. I'm not exactly 100% sure, so I don't want to take my chances. I've been walking so much lately, I'm really looking forward to using this. Nine more parts to go. So we got some more blues to make up for the ones I lost. Hmm. Oh, I lost one down there. Damn it, blue. Isn't there some grass I can pick around here? Yes, there is. This thing, it isn't particularly dangerous. It's called an aerial blowhog. Basically, it just blows all your Pikmin all over the place. It doesn't really hurt them unless they're near water and they're not a blue Pikmin. God damn, they got blown all over the place.
here. Let's take him out. Thank you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, my troops are really scattered. Alright, I'm gonna have to be quick about this. Probably gonna lose that one Pikmin, but can't really be helped. Come on, let's be quick. Now we have very limited amounts of bomb rocks that spawn here per day. So um we each day that you're here you need to make sure that you make use of them so that you can destroy that wall there and the wall that's closest to your spaceship. That would be my suggestion to you. Alright, let's go to sunset. We're gonna lose one of the Pikmin and that was way off on the other side of the map. That is unfortunate, but. Alas. Oh, I feel bad for that Pikmin. He just got swarmed by those insect things. There appears to be a large cluster of parts here. If my calculations are correct, then I should be able to recover virtually all of my missing ship parts. But not quite all of them. Unfortunately, there still seem to be some pieces that remain unaccounted for. I must find nine more parts to further increase the dolphin's range. So today we only found one part, but that's better than none. We lost 29 Pikmin altogether today. Alright then, back to the distant spring for day 14. Alright, I think I'll start by taking care of the bomb rock thing now so that I'm not rushing to do it near the end. Okay, good, the bull bear's still gone, so we can blow up the wall. Oh no, those things are annoying. That's called a snitch bug. Now, snitch bugs won't try to hurt your troops. Yeah, snitch bugs won't try to hurt your troops, but what, what they will do is swoop over, pick them up, and plant them back into the ground. They're weird like that. Now that wall is going to take a lot of effort to destroy, so that's going to take a few days to blow up. Let's get our blues back out. Alright, 
first thing we'll do, we'll try to get some nectar. Looks like most of them have flowers now, if not all. Come on, leave that alone. Alright, so let's start throwing some troops onto this ledger. I didn't want you to... Alright, I guess that'll do. You guys follow me along the ledge. to it. Or, you know, don't. But yeah, you see what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get my Pikmin onto the ledge, get them to follow me across, and then just try to get that part picked up. Found the, re the repair type bolt. This robotic marvel can fix just about anything in the ship that's broken. That's good because I get terribly bored fixing little glitches. Okay, good. So that part's being taken back. This looks like an ordinary bolt, but is actually a repair robot. Eight more to go. Alrighty then. Now there is another part further out in the water, so I guess we should probably go ahead and get that one next. Things. Let's take care of them first before we get go for the part. And here 
here we have the Interstellar Radio. Not only does it emit a constant SOS signal, it also broadcasts voices from space that will brighten up my moments of boredom. The dolphin, while comfortable, becomes quite a lonely place in the depths of the night. Alright, good, so we'll bring that to the ship as well. Where were those other mollusks I killed? Ah, there they are. Come on. Hey, you jerk. Stellar Radio. This part will sound out a daily SOS signal. I have so little time remaining though that I have no option but to continue my search rather than waiting for a rescue party. Having to look, collect every part is a bit overwhelming, but I get the impression not all parts are needed to fly the ship. Seven more to go. Alright, looks like we got out of their attack range, so they're retreating. They did, they did eat one Pikmin there, which sucks, but oh well. See you guys made it as well. fairly close by. I think I'll take care of this one first, since this one's a little bit more involved. First we'll take care of the Waldywog. Good, he didn't kill anyone that time. Start by building the bridge on this side. Go on, go help him. So that's the farthest that bridge will go. Now we have to take the blue Pikmin through the water and do the same thing on the opposite side. now. Same for you, buddy. Thank you. 
Almost there. There we go. I found the gluon drive. Using the quark binding metaphysical properties of gluons, this device, well, it's very scientific and I don't fully understand it myself, but it was very expensive. <laughs> Alright then. ship, then we won't be able to do too much else after that. I may be able to get a head start on destroying one of the walls, though, so maybe I'll do that until it's time to go. drive. I have no idea how this works, but it means the dolphin will again lift off of its characteristic roar. Six more to go. Alright, let's see if we can do some damage to a wall before time is up. One of my Pikmin didn't get lost. Uh, he's near the ship, so he should be okay. Come on. We don't have time for that right now. Come on. Jump out of the water. Too froggy. Hey, you let them go. these things are annoying. Let's just go to sunset. Those Pikmin they grabbed aren't in any danger. They basically just pick them up to plant them somewhere. They're very strange, those flying snitch bugs. Well, at least we killed the Wallywogs on the way there, so that's good, I guess? But we did make decent progress that day, so I'm happy with how the day turned out for the most part. Goodbye, bugs. So it's been two weeks since impact now. When I see the Pikmin engaged in fierce battle with the other creatures of this world, I often grow uneasy wondering why they never attack me. Could it be that they actually view me as a, par a parental figure? A strange, disturbing thought. I don't know there, Olimar. So overall, we lost 10 Pikmin today. Sucks, but not too bad in the grand scheme of things. 